So how many people here today decided to have children in their 20s? <laughs> well, not many. <laughs> in developed nations such as America, women are starting families later and later. Now, despite this cultural shift, human biology remains largely indifferent. The fact of the matter is that as females age, infertility becomes more and more common until eventually menopause is finally released or reached. So despite this age-related infertility, this is caused by a decrease in oocyte number and quality. Now, this is bad news for anyone trying to have or children in their 30s or 40s. Now, in order for con conception to occur, ovulation must happen first. Ovulation can be described as the release of a mature oocyte from the ovary. Now, the release of this mature o oocyte is highly contingent on estrogen. Estrogen and its receptor, when they bind, they largely control what the oocyte does. Now, for every menstrual cycle, 20 oocytes are released. Now, only one will end up becoming, uh, 20 have mat matured and one is released. Now, the rest will end up being degraded. So it would be nice if we could find a way to keep oocytes immature until a woman desired to conceive. Now, our lab uses zebrafish in order to study oocytes. Zebrafish oocytes are transparent. So this transparency allows us to easily visually differentiate between mature and immature oocytes. Now my master's thesis focuses on these estrogen receptors. Now when the estrogen receptor binds to estrogen, it has been known to keep oocytes immature. So in order to study this, I used a genetic tool known as CRISPR to make an alteration in the DNA, thus turning off the function of the estrogen receptor. This allows me to determine what the function will be and what other factors are involved in this process. Now using this method, I'll be able to determine exactly how the estrogen receptor is able to exert its function and in the process find other potential drug targets to help keep your oocytes immature. Thank you.